Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. This is a story that I really try to avoid um, because, in my opinion, it's gotten way out of hand. And um, I don't know. Well, let me just read the article, and I think that may. This isn't a game. This is her life. Dwayne Wade angrily denies ex-wife's claim that he's profiting from their transgender daughter, Zaya, and slams her for dragging his name through the mud. As he praises Gabrielle Union for being the child's rock. Wade's ex, uh, Salvan Funches Wade filed paperwork this week. She's begging a judge to intervene in their daughter Zaya's transition. Zaya, formerly Zion, came out as transgender in 2019 at the age of 12. Since then, she has won lucrative modeling contracts and social media deals. Sylvan feels that her father is pushing her into that direction for financial gain. Wade lashed out at those claims overnight and called her an absentee parent. He said Gabrielle Union had been Zaya's rock through heartache. Wade waged a war on his ex, warning that the high road has run out of real estate as far as he's concerned. He took custody of their two children in 2011 after a bitter, lengthy divorce. Uh, this has always been a crazy situation as far as I'm concerned, but I don't live with them. However, if they are even thinking about getting Zaya, uh, allowing Zaya to transform her body as a teenager, then in my opinion, both of them are dead wrong. Dwayne and Gabrielle need to sit the hell down. If that's what they're doing, they need to back the hell off. I don't care what Zaya says. Wait till Zaya gets 18. Okay? Because there's too many stories. I mean, we've got too much scientific proof now that your brain don't, doesn't stop growing until you're 24, 25 years old. With that being said, there's a bunch of experiments and a bunch of, a lot of information that has shown a lot of people, young men specifically, who have gotten their sex changed have changed their minds. There are a lot of people that might have been gay during college. When they get out of college, they're not gay anymore. There's a lot of people that go through transitions when they're teenagers and they make a different life decision. And then there are some people who remain gay. That's why I said this sexuality thing is so untouched that I think anybody that has not experienced it shouldn't make any kind of decisions uh, in terms of allowing a child to be in control of having a sex change. Now, I'm, I'm praying that this is not what the case is because Dwayne is angrily denied his ex-wife's claim and that he's profiting from his transgender daughter and pressured her into changing her sex. Uh, insisting in a lengthy Instagram statement that he would never force her into anything. Wade, a former NBA star, is on vacation in Africa with his current wife, Gabrielle Union, to celebrate her 50th birthday. The trip was abruptly interrupted yesterday with bombshell claims from his ex-wife Saivan, who claimed in legal filings that he is pressuring their transgender 15-year-old Zaya into legally changing her name and sex because he was standing to profit from it. 
Zaya was born Zion, but came out in trans in 2019 and was 12 years old. Has since amassed a modeling contract and social media fame. Her mother and stepmother have been vocal of, in their support and now consider themselves staunch LBGTQ advocates. In his statement, Wade lashed out at the notion that he was pushing a decision and also took aim at his ex-wife, calling her an absentee parent who was selfishly putting herself at the center of their daughter's transition. Zaya is not the same three-year-old year child anymore. And she is screaming that to the world, but most importantly to her mother. No one in our house would ever force Zaya or any of our children to do anything against their will, much less force an identity on them. This isn't a game for my family and definitely not for Zaya. This is her life. And so they have a picture with Zaya and Sayaban. And he's got that big old cute smile. Um, and then they have her again when she went to Paris to Fashion Week. And she's got on the skirt and, um, you know, with a bunch of pleats in it and a blue jean jacket. And since this must be the new way of parenting, I guess I have to address these allegations here, which is a damn shame. While I am on, this is Dwayne Wade now. While I am on a life-changing trip to our motherland, Africa, I received a social media post about me forcing our 15-year-old child to be someone she's not and to do something against her will. These are serious and harmful allegations that have hurt our children. While none of us are surprised by Saivon's attempt to fight Zaya's identity and her unwavering attempt to drag my name through the mud, I'm very disappointed that she continuously finds ways centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. This report came out while Zaya was in class. This is a kid who has maintained a 4.0 grade point average in honors classes while navigating all this unsolicited and harmful attention and debates about her gender and sexuality from those who are committed to not listening to her, much less even knowing her. Saivan tries a similar attempt over a decade ago with equally damaging lies and causing irreparable damage to her children. And 13 lawyers later, I was awarded sole custody of our two kids as an active NBA player. All I ever wanted was to have my parenting time uninterrupted, as I knew that it would be a very difficult time for our kids to navigate their new normal. <coughs> so, Instead of actually trying to co-parent over the years, she's left her home to see more lawyers and has taken the time to talk to more lawyers since I filed for a divorce. Then she's left her home to actually see or have even spoken or listened to Zaya over all these years. I've given her the opportunity to reach out to Zaya's teachers, doctors, therapists, over the years, and even meet her friends so she could get her own understanding of our child's needs for her life. She won't do it. She has not been to a school recital, a graduation, school dance, play date, practice, parent-teacher conference, etc. And Zaya has given her every opportunity to try to get to know her. She won't do it. As a woman who claims to be a good Christian mother, I've yet to see her make any sacrifice or effort to leave her home, own home to participate in her child's lives in over a decade. Zaya is not that same three-year-old child anymore, and she's screaming to the world, 
but most importantly to her mother. No one in our house would ever force Zaya or any other of our children to do anything against their will, much less force an identity on them. This isn't a game and my family and are and not for Zaya. This is her life. All the while, my wife and our village has been her rock in helping her pick up the pieces after heartbreak after heartbreak. Mm. Sayavan has decided to pretty much be an absent parent to Zaya all on her own. As men, we get a bad rep for not showing up and being absentee fathers. Well, that's not the case here because I'm ten toes down and I'm still going through the BS. I will not sit on my hands this time and allow her to make a mockery of the dedication of my dedication to my family. The high road has run out of real estate as far as I'm concerned. My lawyer will be in contact. So the best of luck to the 14th lawyer as they try to unravel this book of lies that's been sold to them. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then they got a picture with Zaya and Sayavan who fears her ex-husband is exploiting her for financial gain. She wants Zaya to wait until she is 18 before legally changing her gender from male to female. And I have to agree with her. That's as it should be. They also share an older son, Zaire. Um, if Dwayne is allowing this to happen, I don't care what, at this point, if Zaya is comfortable with that and she really wants to make that decision to become a transgender, well, then it shouldn't be on her parents' watch because there should be no regrets. If things should not turn out the way she would want them to, she won't blame her because kids have a good uh, reason to blame you when their lives are messed up. For those of y'all who are parents out there, you know. Uh, so I would wait until the blood is on her hands. I would not carry that on my heart. I would say, honey, I support you. If that's what you think you are. If that's who you are, I support you 110%. But what I'm not going to allow you to do is cut off any body parts while you still live here with me and we are under the same roof. Not because I want to control you, but because I love you and I know a lot of times we change our minds about certain things as we get older. And I will just leave it at that. She's uh, very concerned that her child is being commercialized at a young age and also of the uncontrollable consequences of the media exposure. Cyberbullying, statements taken out of context, um, the unwanted spotlight focused on our child. Interesting. Well, we'll see what the judge says. And um, this should be very in in interesting. And um, wow, very interesting. Okay, see you in the next video.